Hello, my name is Steve Nath, and yes, I know I'm wearing a scarf, but that's because I have a little bit of a throat ache, so I just hope that it's gonna help. And yes, we will now move on to the topic of the video. The topic of the video being a Q&A. It is time to move on to those questions. The first question is, when will your book come out? So, I'm still in the writing and rewriting and rewriting and rewriting. Yeah, basically writing, still writing. And it's still going to be a while. I think it's more along the lines of another few years before I even approach an agent about this. So we will see. I hope to get somewhere soon-ish. But it will still be a while before I finish it. What is the greatest challenge that you have faced in your current work in progress? My current work in progress, so it's a novel, a fantasy novel that I'm writing. And it's... The main problem is consistency with characters, places, things that are happening, events. I, I've, I've always found it very difficult sometimes just to have things align. And it's just like, you know, yeah, this is good. And then all of a sudden you're just like, oh, yeah, that doesn't work. Or that doesn't fit in. Or that character can't exist in this situation because their parents were never born. Or something like that will happen. And I'm just like, ooh, how do I do this? And that is the major problem that will always come up. What is your favourite singer or band? For me, at the moment, my favourite song is Fight Song and that is by Rachel Clayton, so that she's probably my favourite singer of the moment. What do you write? Well, I like to write poetry, short stories and long stories. Do you like writing different genres or is it just one in particular? Well, my favourite genre would definitely be fantasy, but I do like trying out different things and it is fun to just try a bit of everything. Non-fiction or fiction? Well, mostly fiction. I write fantasy and I really enjoy it. Um, but I do write some things that are more related like to thoughts and um, ideas. So I'd say that's more non-fiction-ish. So it's, it depends, but mostly fiction. You write in prose or verse? I write in both, as I mentioned just before. I write poetry as well as stories. When did wanting to write become actual writing for you? Well, I've been wanting to write forever. I know that I wrote some stories when I was younger. Basically, when I started to write would be when I actually went from the idea of writing to writing. But I'd say 13 is probably the age when I really sat down and wrote more. That's when I started writing more poetry. That's when I started writing the novel that I'm working on at the moment. The genre you avoid and why? When it comes to writing specifically, there is the genre that I would avoid, which is anything to do with religion. Now, I don't consider myself to know that much or enough about religion to be able to write about it. So it is something that I do avoid when I write. I don't want to offend anyone, so I prefer avoid it until I know more if I ever do approach that topic. Do you think John Green is overrated? I've only read The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, so I can't really say I know much about what he's written. So, um... I can't really answer this question, I'm not qualified enough, I'd say, to answer this question. I read The Fault in Our Stars, I thought it was interesting, it was okay. It wasn't my favourite book of all time, but it was good, so, I don't know, I'd have to read more to know. If you had to limit yourself to one author or genre, what would it be? Well, if it's to pick between a genre and an author, I would definitely go with a genre because there's so much more. But let's just pick an author and a genre. So the genre would definitely be fantasy, as it's what I write the most and what I read the most at the moment, so I'll just stick with that. And it's really broad. And on the other side, I'm going to go with one of my favourite authors of all time. Now, I've read most of his books, so it we pretty much only rereads, but for me, this author, Pierre Bourdieu, is the author, and he, to me, is basically J.K. Rowling and the Harry Potter series to most people. I just love his books, and they're just great. And I just will always stick with those books. So I'm currently in a reading slump, and I am looking for a book to get out of the reading slump. What would you recommend? For this question, I can't actually remember what books I would have read getting out of reading slumps. Now, I do remember there was one book. I read the last book in the Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flannel series by Michael Scott right after I was in a reading slump. So that book got me out of the reading slump. But as it's the last book in a series, I don't know if I can really recommend it. Uh, but I would say just go with anything that's really easy, that you think you will enjoy, something that's light-hearted. I actually made a video about reading slugs on hand, my tips to get out of it, so if you would like to check that out, I'll put a link down in the description. I'll put a link on the screen somewhere here, probably, uh, just to make it easy for you if you're not on a mobile device. You'll be able to click right on the screen. Unfortunately, I don't know what exactly to recommend, but I hope the tips do help. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you all for your questions. I hope you have a great week. And I will see you next week with a new video. That's all from me. Bye.